welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having an awesome day. I am super excited for today's video because it is a what's in my hospital bag video, which is crazy that it's like already time to film this and show you guys. So I'm currently 39 weeks pregnant. I'm a little bit less than a week out from my due date. By the time you're seeing this, I'm filming this like exactly a week out from my due date. Um, and then, yeah, by the time you're seeing this, I'm probably like five or so days out, which is nuts. My pregnancy has flown by. But I've gotten this request from a lot of you guys, and I know I was really curious when I was packing my hospital bag and when I was deciding what to bring with me, I was really curious what other people suggested. So I figured it would be fun to show you and um, yeah, let you know what I'm planning on bringing with me to the hospital. I'm also gonna have a separate video that's like what's in my baby's hospital bag. That's gonna be, um, you know, my diaper bag that's filled up not with diapers and things like that because I know the hospital will provide things like that but more so like what I'm bringing for him that he needs also I'm in my nursery right now if you can't tell and I'm so excited to show you that too so I'll have a nursery video coming out super soon as well I just wanted to get this one out to you before I had the baby um, I figured it's about time that I film this video and then put my hospital bag in my car just to make sure it's there so my plan is film this video get my hospital bag actually packed up back together and then keep it in my husband's car until the baby gets here. That way, no matter what happens, no matter when I go into labor, we have everything we need with us and we're good to go. So I have kind of a lot of stuff I'm planning on bringing, not like anything crazy, but I do have a lot of like essentials, a lot of things that I think will come in handy. I tried not to overpack and bring things that were not necessary just because we're only gonna be there for a couple days. Um, my hospital will have like a two to three day stay, so I'm bringing in enough clothes and items that will last me two to three days while we're there. Um, I'm also using a carry-on suitcase as my hospital bag. So I knew I wouldn't want to lift a duffel bag. And when we're coming home from the hospital, I don't want my husband to have to worry about carrying a duffel bag with the baby's car seat, with his bag too. Like it's just, he's bringing a duffel bag. He's just bringing like a travel Adidas duffel bag. Um, but I figured I would bring a roller, I was gonna say roller stroller. I figured I would bring a a roller like carry-on suitcase as my bag just because it's small it's compact it fits everything and it'll be really easy to wheel up and down the halls of the hospital once we get there so that's my plan I just got this one at TJ Maxx so I figured I would start too by telling you about the clothes I'm planning on bringing to the hospital and what I'm planning on wearing while I'm there so I'll probably just wear something like this when I go um, I've been living in these like basic t-shirts I talked about them in my recent maternity style video that I'll have linked down below Low for you guys as well um, but I'll probably just wear comfy clothes there hopefully I'm in comfortable clothes when it happens um, and then I'll probably just wear these slip-on Adidas sandals I keep these at my front door these are the sandals I use to like take the dogs outside or to run errands they're really comfortable because they have like a mushin mushin oh my gosh pregnancy brain <laughs> they have like a cushion memory foam sole so they're really comfortable and like you can tell you can just slip them on and off so I keep these at my front door and I'll probably just slip these on and then it will be great to have these as we're like strolling the hospital hallways or anything like that too. A couple things that I got to wear in the hospital that are not totally necessary, like these are just kind of fun items, but they are things I got that I'm bringing that I figured I would show you. One of them is one of those cute like hospital gowns that you see online. I think I got this one on like Zoo Lily or something like that. Um, but it's really cute because it's blue and it has a print. It actually came with a white ribbon bow to tie like above your belly too. And I'm just not going to do that. Um, but I figured if the hospital gowns are kind of gross, if I don't feel like wearing it, if I just want to feel like a little bit cuter as I'm pushing through things quite literally, I could throw this on. We'll see if I actually end up using it. Like I have a feeling that in the moment I'm going to be like, screw that I don't care what I'm wearing just get this baby out of me but I figured I would bring it because I bought it when I was like five months pregnant or something crazy um, it also has like the ability to button this part down so you can breastfeed while wearing it too so we'll see if I actually want to wear it but I am bringing that so I figured I'd show it to you guys and I'll have it linked down below or one similar to if I can find them for you 
Then I'm planning on bringing a couple pairs of like really cute mommy socks. This is my first baby and so I just want to go all out you guys. I just wanted to like have all the cute stuff there. So I got a couple pairs of these socks that have like the grips at the bottom and then they say cute little sayings. So I got both of them on Amazon for like $10 each. They're really affordable and again I'll have them linked down below for you. Um, this pair is blue and it says it's a boy on the bottom and then this pair is white and it says I'm going to be a mommy today. So I just was thinking like again not super necessary but I'm only going to be a mom for the first time once and so I don't know especially these ones that say I'm going to be a mommy today I thought that would make for really cute pictures um, and it'll keep my feet warm and with the grips they'll be good for the hospital so we'll see just something kind of cute to commemorate the occasion as for after I give birth I am definitely bringing a couple nursing bras so these nursing bras are really comfortable and they're just from Target they're like 20 bucks each and they're from like the Gillian something line um, this one's actually like a yoga nursing bra and it's a pale pink color that's super cute I have these in a couple different colors so I have been wearing them like in my other colors um, and I love them they're so comfortable they're basically just sports bras that are nursing friendly. So I figured they would keep me comfortable. They'd be good for like keeping covered. I may not want to go totally naked with everybody around, but this will allow me to still nurse while we're in the hospital. Um, so I'm bringing this pink one that I figured would be cute. And then I'm also bringing just a classic blue one. Everything I'm bringing is kind of like a blue white color because I'm having a boy and I just figured it would be cute and cohesive for pictures. Like I'm a freak like that, but yeah, this one um, is just like a classic blue one. So I will be having those nursing bras and then I've got many more to last me at home too, but I figured bringing two would be enough to get me through like the potential three days in the hospital afterwards. I also have a couple like nursing gowns and um, bathrobes that I'm wearing or that I'm bringing with me too. So I'm sorry, I cannot talk today guys. So they're nightgowns to clarify, not just like gowns, but they're nursing nightgowns. This one is blue, it's like pinstripes and it has lace at the top so it's nice and pretty and they'll keep me comfortable. And then it also has a matching blue robe. So I figured this would be a really cute outfit for like initial pictures after he's first born. I can wear those two together and then not having, not having pants on the bottom too will allow for the doctor to come in and like check me and I can still stay covered and cute and like somewhat feel somewhat pretty and put together but I've got like the breeze flowing down below so it's it's easy for the doctors and for whatever they got to do down there afterwards too. I think I found this combo also on Zulily or something but motherhood maternity has some really cute ones as well so I got several of these actually from them but these are just the ones I'm planning on bringing to the hospital with me so this is a gray set too that's a gray um can you tell that I love the color gray? But this is a gray one with pink lace at the top. And then again, it has a matching robe to wear with it. So you're keeping covered, you're keeping like, you know, comfortable still, you're able to nurse, but I feel like I'll be a little bit more presentable, especially with like family and friends potentially visiting the hospital. Um, so yeah, but I really like these and motherhood maternity always has sales gap has some really good nursing dresses too, like these nursing nightgowns So I would definitely check them out But I'll have these ones linked down below for you too And then along the same lines of just like keeping covered but also open at the same time I got this sleep shirt from Victoria's Secret. It's a button-up as you can tell it's got like a collar So it's like a an actual sleep shirt, but it's really lightweight Which I think will be really nice for keeping me comfortable and cool in the hospital um, especially after you like go through labor and if you're I'm really like hot and sweaty and I don't know stuff like that but it's but it's open at the bottom still so it won't keep me too covered up from the doctor but it's like lightweight enough and covered enough that I'll feel comfortable wearing this in the bed plus it's buttoned up so it's again nursing friendly um, I love these sleep shirts from Victoria's Secret and I figured that way my legs will be open I won't have to worry about like taking pants on and off but I'm still like covered up and I'm not just like showing everything off for everybody to see <laughs> then as far as what I'm bringing to wear home from the hospital so those are just the clothes I'm bringing to wear in the hospital and I know I'm probably overpacking too but I'm a chronic overpacker to begin with and especially when I know it's gonna be kind of messy and I don't know how I'm gonna be feeling. I've never done this before, so I just figured I might as well bring 
more than necessary just in case. Um, but as far as what I'm bringing to wear home from the hospital, I really just want comfortable clothes. So I have again a gray tank top. This one's just really loose. I like it because it's not going to like be hugging my stomach after I go into labor or potentially have a c-section. Um, I'm bringing some really comfortable joggers. This peach pair I recently got from Fabletics and I love them because they fit me now so I know they'll fit me post labor um, but they've got enough room and again they're kind of lightweight and I love the color. I thought this like pink color may make me feel kind of like cute coming home and still put together. Um, the only thing I'm hesitant about with these pants is that they are new and if I'm like bleeding a lot or you know I don't know. I hear about gross things happening after labor so if things are kind of crazy down there I'm also bringing an older pair of joggers that are just classic gray um, because I figured if these get stained and messed up I won't be upset. If my brand new cute pink joggers get messed up I may be a little bit bummed about it but if things aren't too messy, then I can wear the cute new pink joggers right here. And if they are a little messy, I can throw on the old ones. So I've got a couple options there. But either way, just like comfortable joggers. And then I'm also bringing this gray cardigan with me. Guys, I really love the color gray. But this one I got at Target in the fall and it's just super cozy. I wear it all the time. It is like one of my go-to layers. And so I figured something like this would keep me nice and comfortable in the hospital. I'll stay warm if I'm chilly. It can be a layer that's warm enough to get me home. I don't need to bring a big jacket. I'm in SoCal, I'm in Southern California. And like I'm already gonna be so hot running around and like getting a baby out of the hospital. But a cardigan I figured would be light enough to just keep me cozy and I can wear it with those joggers and be good to go. In case I feel like going a little bit cuter and putting myself together a little bit more, I'm also going to bring a cozy maxi dress. This is just a black like v-neck maxi. Um, you can see it has the racer back crochet back so I can wear it with those nursing sports bras and it won't like they won't the straps won't show or anything but it is a v-neck maxi so I can still nurse in it and this would keep me comfortable but like still put together. We are going to have family here visiting so it'll be nice to still look put together and be able to come home. I remember after my wedding I was so tired and like I wore a maxi dress home and it just helped me feel like I was in sweatpants but still looking cute and so I think this will be a good option for that. We'll see how I feel. I figured by bringing a couple different options I can just determine how I feel the day of when we're leaving the hospital but I've got like a comfortable pant option and a comfortable dress option and we'll see which one fits my body best and which how my body's feeling after we go through everything. I'm also bringing a little bit of makeup with me. I just have like this little bag with like some basics enough to do a quick face if I feel like putting makeup on like I may not feel like it. I'm really not planning on it, but I figured that when it's time to leave the hospital, I may feel like just throwing on a little bit here and there. So I just have like my little travel size products like this, like a little bronzer. I've got like a little mini highlight in there, a couple brushes, like a palette enough to put on. This palette has like bronzer, blush, highlight, um, stuff like that. So just basics to put together a quick face if I want to do so before we head home. Oh, and then the last thing I'm bringing to wear at the hospital are a pair of cozy slippers. So my sister-in-law actually got me a pair of slippers for the hospital. She's so sweet. But let me show you guys these slippers. They're amazing. But this is what they look like. They're kind of dirty because I've been wearing them. But they're huge. So these slippers take up so much room in my hospital bag. I just can't bring them with me, unfortunately. So these have been like my pregnancy slippers around the house. And then I got this pair on Amazon to bring with me to the hospital. So these just fit a little bit more like compact in my bag and they're still really comfortable. Again, they have that like memory foam. They were like $15. So I'll link them down below and they have other colors as well. But I just thought this pink color would go with things that I wear once I'm back from the hospital too. So I can easily slip these on, but um, these will keep me covered. Like if I'm too hot, I can wear those Adidas slip on sandals in the hallways at the hospital. And if I want to stay a little warmer, I can wear these slippers too. So get yourself a good comfy pair of slippers for the hospital. I hear that everybody insists on having them. Oh, and then I'm also bringing a pair of fuzzy socks to wear too, just in case I don't want to wear like the, I'm going to be a mommy socks in case I just want like comfortable fuzzy socks on, especially I see like wearing these socks with the sleep shirt. I think that would be really comfortable but cute. So I'm bringing just a go-to pair of like fuzzy socks too. All right, I've talked a lot about clothes, so let's get into the more nitty gritty of 
the necessities I'm bringing with me in my hospital bag. So I've got my toiletries bag with me. This is the bag I pack with me every trip I go on. I've got like shampoo, conditioner, um, deodorant, a razor, like all those things are just in this clear bag. I always keep it packed in my bathroom. So when I'm ready to take a trip, I can just throw it in my suitcase. So I'm going to be bringing my toiletries bag with me and then my husband will bring his with him as well. I found this little bag, I think at like Target or something, but what I love about it is it's this cute little pink bag that says you were made for this on it. In case I need like a little bit of inspiration as I'm going through it, I figured that this would be good to hold like my necessities for um, just getting us through the hospital stay. So in here I have like my headphones for my phone in case I need to like zen out and just listen to some music and not focus on anything. Um, I have a couple like hair wipes that these help defrizz your hair. I have lots of hair ties. So we lose hair ties very easily, girls. We know this. So I have them on a little ring like this. That way I'll have lots of hair ties with me when I need to throw my hair up and get some fresh air. In here, I also have one of these little portable fans. So this thing's great because you can turn it on and keep yourself cool like that. So as I'm overheating, as I'm going through labor, I can just like cool myself off. Plus it actually has a mist like, oh, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it actually mists water too. So I already have it full with water and that way this will like keep me really cool, but it's not too bulky and I can just pull it out and like, you know, fan myself, fan and mist myself when I need to. It sounds so bougie, but I think it will be really helpful for sure. I have a couple little body products in here. These are both from the Aveda Stress Relief line. So there's a body lotion and then there's a body cream in here too. I love these. They have lavender in them and they are clinically proven to reduce stress levels. So I have them in here just in case I need them. Um, and then I also have a little lavender roll on like essential oil that my sister-in-law gave me too. And a pen. I have a pen, which I will talk about more in a little bit, but so this bag is just kind of like a little bit of random stuff, but I think it's all stuff that will come in handy while we're at the hospital. And again, I just like the little like inspirational message on it too. I'm bringing a massager with me. So this I got in my FabFitFun box for spring. Um, it works so well. It's great because you can like really roll out the kinks my husband will use it on my back for me now when I get back pain um, but I figured this would be really helpful and it just I know it works really well and if anything it will be relaxing while we're in there before I get an epidural things like that so bringing a massager I'm also bringing a water bottle so this is just one of those contigo water bottles um, but this will allow me to like stay hydrated he can just go and fill it up with me fill it up fill it up with me, fill it up for me, fill it up with like ice and water. Um, and I like that it has just like the sippy thing. So if I'm struggling, I can just like sip from it and not have to like lean my head back and worry about spilling. Like this will just make it really easy to stay hydrated and make sure I'm getting enough water while I'm in the process. Same with snacks. So I have heard that it is like crucial to have snacks with you. You wanna make sure that you're staying up on energy. So I have this little bag packed with just like some protein bars. These are like the Think Thin protein bars. I love them. And then I also have some Lara bars in here too. So there's, I'm bringing a bunch, but that's enough to keep me and my husband like fed and, um, and we can always get food while we're there too. But I figured just by having like some protein bars, um, that's just like something to start with. And then if I desperately need food, like you know how when you're pregnant, you get hit with hunger, like where you're like, I need food right now. That's what this is for. I'm bringing some Kleenex. So these I found just like in the grocery store in the checkout aisle. And I love them because again, they have little inspirational messages on them. So this one says summon your strength. This one says seize this moment. And then this says find your fearless. And I figured those could be really helpful for labor. Again, just to like, when you need a little positivity, you need a little oomph. And I know we're gonna be crying a lot once he's here, if not throughout the entire time. So yeah. We're gonna need some Kleenex and mama's gonna need some words of encouragement too. I also found this little bag at Target. This is just like a little pad bag. So um, it has like a couple different sizes of panty liners and pads in there. Um, I'm not typically like a pad wearing type of girl, but you know you need it after labor. I've heard a lot about like 
again, the icky stuff that can happen. So I think it will be helpful to have. And um, just by having this little bag in there, it's like I can try out a couple things. I know the hospital is going to have those things for me too, but I figured I might as well come more prepared than underprepared. And in case I don't like the products they have, or I don't like the pads they have or something, then I've got some options with me. Um, plus this little pouch is just so cute and handy. So if I don't use this while I'm at the hospital, I can just throw it in my purse once I get home or keep it in my diaper bag, things like that. I will be able to use this afterwards I'm sure too. I'm planning on bringing like some regular pads with me too so those are just like panty liners and different like consistencies of those but I'll probably bring some regular pads too and then I've heard it can actually be helpful to have like full-on depends underwear so I'm bringing two of those too. Again I know this is stuff that the hospital will provide us with but just in case these ones are actually um I got to situate my belly oh my gosh oh my gosh Everything is so difficult when you have a nine month baby bump. Um, but these ones are actually like the always, this is what the package looks like. They look like that and I just figured, I don't know, they're a little bit cuter like I'm gonna feel so nasty afterwards that like you might as well try and feel a little cute with like little designs on your depends. I don't know. But I heard they can be helpful so we'll see what I need. Hopefully I don't need a ton of these but I figured I could bring a couple just in case. And then these are just like some of those mesh panties as well that I got in a bump box. So I figured I'd bring those too. I'm also bringing some breast pads um, in case I'm like leaking milk or anything. Again, something the hospital will probably provide us with, but I might as well bring extras for myself. And then these are some Pacifica underarm deodorant wipes. I think that's such a cool idea that they're like wipes that you actually wipe under your arms to give yourself like a little refresh. So I'm thinking if there's any time when you could use deodorant wipes and need a little refresh, with just like a quick wipe down it's probably during that whole thing so I don't know if I'll use them again I could just keep them with me afterwards too but might as well keep them in my hospital bag just in case and then I'm bringing this sleep mask this is another thing that may not be totally necessary but I got this in my FabFitFun box as well and what I love about it is that it actually has like a little ice pack inside so you can keep this in the refrigerator or in the freezer and then put it over your eyes to help with like puffiness and stuff like that so if I'm able to get any shut eye in the hospital or if I'm just like laying there like doing tummy time or something and I need to like just get away for a second like I thought this would be really helpful and just kind of soothing or if I'm in labor and I haven't had him yet and I just need to like calm like um you know close my eyes and get through contractions, this will definitely help too. I've got a couple hairbrushes in here. These are by The Wet Brush. My sister-in-law got me these too, so I just thought those would be handy to have. And then I have a portable Mophie charger. So if you're anything like me and you're on your phone a lot, your phone will die. So I have one of these portable chargers with me. It's already fully charged, but I have like the actual outlet charger for it connected as well. Um, that way I know my husband and I, especially in the hours before we we have the baby um, we're gonna be on our phones killing time so I'm bringing my portable charger because I do not want my phone to die and then I have to keep it plugged in across the room and then I'm just like dying during labor with no entertainment so this will come in handy for sure I've got my camera packed so I have my camera with a brand new SD card and my charger packed and ready to go because I do want to film it. I would love to do a labor and delivery vlog um, and just have those memories like secured for us. So I've got my camera ready to go and hopefully we're able to use it and don't just like freak out and forget but it's here, I'm bringing it. Again, another thing that's a little unnecessary and hopefully you guys won't judge me for this one, but I'm bringing little bottles of champagne, just a little bit, because I figured we're gonna wanna do a toast. So I got these little bottles of champagne and I got these little plastic champagne flutes. It's not like I'm gonna be living it up drinking in the hospital, but I would love to just have that moment of like having a little toast to our newborn baby boy. So I'm bringing those with me. We'll see if I end up using them but I think it could be a cute idea. And my husband deserves it, if anything, so. Then just a couple last things. I'm bringing a boppy. Um, you know, this is great for nursing and for holding the baby and just like keeping your arms supported. So I'm bringing one of those to have with me as well. I have my hospital checklist with my bag ready to go so that when I go into labor, I know exactly what to do, who to call, what doors to go through, like just in case I'm freaking out. I've got this like laid out on top of my hospital bag. 
I'm bringing a fitness magazine to keep myself entertained. I feel like there's only so much time I can spend on my phone and if I have a really long labor, I'm gonna want like some visuals, I'm gonna want to like just something to keep my mind busy. So I'm bringing this like women's health magazine. I figure if there's any time when I need some like physical motivation, I'm gonna want to be reading about like all the exercises and healthy foods and looking at fit bodies and things like that and then I will be ready to go into the biggest workout of my life. That's my thought process there. And then just two more random little things. So I'm bringing my baby book with me to the hospital. Um, obviously this is not my baby. We're gonna add a picture of him once he's born. But there's a page in here where they're able to add like his footprints and his handprints. And the hospital said they would do that if we bring a baby book and we ask them to. So I'm gonna bring his baby book and then hopefully we can do that and we can get his little hands and feet printed in here on the pages to keep forever. And then the last thing that I'm bringing is one of these, I'm gonna keep it covered so you can't see, but one of these letter boards. So I really, I have this vision of like wanting to get a picture of him as soon as he's born with this letter board with his name and like all his information. So I've already gone ahead and entered, I'm trying to keep his name covered so you can't see it, but I already went ahead and entered in like a rough estimate for a date. Um, and then I'll go in and I'll fill in like the pounds, the ounces, the exact date, the time, things like that. But I think that would make for a really cute picture. They have these all over the place. There, if I turn it upside down, you still can't see them. Does this work? Um, they have these all over the place, but I'll link this one down below as well. But I just thought that would be a really cute idea. And by already having it like all ready to go, it'll make it really easy to put it together and get the picture in the hospital too. All right guys, so that's everything I have for this what's in my hospital bag video. I honestly didn't feel like I was bringing that much stuff until I started filming this and got like 30 minutes in. So I apologize for the lengthy video. I just really wanted to show you all the stuff I'm planning on bringing. I will also have a what's in my baby baby's bag video coming out soon that is much less stuff that video will be like five minutes long but I'm gonna film that right after this too so that will come out soon as well as my nursery tour so you can see all the fun decor that we have in this room too that's all I got for today though guys so I hope you have a great rest of your day and I can't wait to give you more baby updates follow me on Instagram for more updates when I have like when I go into labor when I have the baby all the updates and stuff will be there so I'll put my name right here for you um, and yeah I'll see you guys in my next video thanks for watching Bye.